Worried about the welfare reforms? Want to find out how they will impact on you? Then watch on. The government are introducing a series of welfare reforms and this report looks at how this affects people with disabilities and mental health illnesses. We will look at, these at what these changes mean and where people can go for advice. Yes, certainly. Uh, the Welfare Reform Act uh, came into being in March 2012 and it's the most radical reform since um, the Second World War. What it has actually meant so far is, is that um, all people who were on incapacity benefit have changed over to employment support allowance, with many actually losing the benefit. It's meant the local housing allowance was introduced for private rented tenants, which has meant that some people have got a shortfall in their um, housing benefits, in it, which they've got to make up themselves. Some of the most radical changes are to disability living allowance, which will be replaced by personal independence payment, and which will mean everyone has to go through a reassessment. Uh, there will be changes to the council tax, which will mean that um, local councils will set um, a rate, which will mean that everyone will have to pay something in the future. There's the bedroom tax, which is basically under occupancy, so if you have a spare bedroom in the property where you live, you will have to make up the deficit. And one of the biggest and most radical changes is that um, from the end of 2013, well, October 2013, universal credit will come into being. And universal credit is where all people's payments, um, benefit payments, will be merged into one with their housing benefit um, and any other benefits they get. And people will be expected to budget on a monthly basis. So people will get one payment at the end of every month and be expected to pay their own rent, manage the bills and everything. Um, the other big issues are that people will be forced to open bank accounts because gyro payments will stop. So in summary, you know, we've got a real um, massive amount of change to the welfare benefits system, which we feel some of which are very unfair. because um, I've got one bedroom spur at the present moment so it will affect me in that way I've got to find I think it was £11 a week I've got to find now for that room Well it already has because I've had to move house from a four bedroom house into a small flat with two bedrooms I have three sons but the two older ones have had to move out and I'm now just with my 12 year old in a flat, two bedrooms the welfare reforms will affect me by affecting my DLA, changing from DLA to PIPs. It will also affect uh, housing benefits, maybe. Uh, it will cause me to have stress because I don't understand it, really. I won't, I won't be able to go and get money or get things on my own. Hello, it's, I think it's a bad thing, it's, there's going to be a lot of changes and um, some people who need help are not going to be able to get it. I think the reforms will have a crazy effect because I think people are going to be displaced when they have to move out of the accommodation they're in because of the bedroom taxes. I think it's going to cause families to break up. I think people who rely on their parents as babysitters while they're at work, they're going to lose out on those kind of um, services. I think there'll be a lot more homelessness and I also think that people will commit a lot more crime because um, they just won't be able to afford things. Um, mainly around budgeting and being able to manage the, month, the monthly money because everything's going to be paid monthly uh, in October next year so um, budgeting lessons and it's mainly going to be around making sure that they can la make their money last for the four weeks rather than the two weekly that they get now. Oh. 
all the staff in plus oh. Lane being able to see the majority of the residents uh, who we feel that the welfare reforms are going to impact on, especially those who are living in large houses, well, when I say large houses, who have more than one bedroom. Um, housing benefits are going to be reduced by 14%. So if people are really concerned about it, they can either come to plus Lane and because we have a dedicated line. We've also been producing leaflets such as this. Now this particular leaflet covers the bedroom tax, but we do have uh, other leaflets in terms of um, incapacity benefit, um, cool. job seekers, which is now going to become universal credit. So people, our tenants are being informed about this, and plus also we're coming out to groups such as yourself mm -hmm. to talk oh. about it. The there is information and support available for people who are affected by the welfare reforms. Contact your local Citizens Advice Bureau.